guys welcome and welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so today i'm putting on a wrap crop top with three layer sleeve i will make this top here on our youtube channel so you can go ahead and i'm going to link down the details down so if you want to make something simple like this you can go ahead and watch that okay but for today's class we're going to be discussing how to cut princess that bustier all you have to do is to drop topics you want us to treat next and of course we pick out topics from the comment section and we do that in our next class so what are the basic measurements required for princess that bustier we need our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist measurements and our half length now your half length simply means one and a half inches or two inches above your navel so you have it around this region so let's calculate our measurement shoulder divided by two we have seven our bust plus two divided by four plus one we have 11 inches Waist plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 9.5 inches. Now, the difference between our bust measurements and our waist measurements is, in our bust measurements, we had it plus 1. In our waist measurements, we had it plus 2. Why? I know you might want to ask me why. It is simply because we have that at the waist measurement, and our that doesn't extend to our bust measurement. So, we have an extra 1 inch allowance for our dart measurement and for your sewing allowance we have two inches for both our bust measurement and our waist measurement so our half length is 17 inches so i'm going to add one inch why am i adding one inch to it because i want to attach your sewing allowance to attach it to either a flay or either a pleat whatever you want at the lower regions of your top so we have 18 inches now this is basically what you need for your princess that bustier okay because your bustier should end at your waist region so you can join us on facebook sewing is fun by 3 designs where we discuss fashion related topics fashion related issues i'm going to link down the details down at the description bar and you can join us on instagram tanker designs so now let's move so i'm going to be starting with the pattern drafting first i'm going to draft my Princess that bustier on my pattern first. So after drafting it on my pattern, I'm going to transfer it to my fabric and then we'll go ahead and sew. So that is like the whole process or the complete process you should go through when you want to achieve your princess that bustier. So click on the subscribe button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell to get notifications when a video comes up. Feel free to ask any questions you find it difficult during the course of this video at the comment section so i'm going to answer all your questions so now let's move to the pattern paper so i want to show you guys this pattern paper this is pattern paper this pattern paper is actually very very long you can see where it gets up to it's about 60 inches long and one thing i love about, about this pattern paper is it has a shiny face and a dull face and it comes in form of a bundle so the bundle is actually bigger than this of course this is what i usually make use of so it has this is like half of it because i've made use of a lot of it so this pattern paper is available at our store if you want to get yours i'm going to put down the details at the comment section so you can order for your pattern paper and trust me it comes in bundle and it is actually very long you can see the whole length of it so for our top length we are only going to be using from here to somewhere around here for the top and if you want to make a full gown you are only going to be using somewhere around here for the gown so basically that is how it looks like so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark all our measurements so the first thing we have is our shoulder to bust shoulder to bust is 10 inches shoulder to under bust is 13 and a half inches shoulder to waist is 18 inches now i know you're going to ask me uh, in case you are confused on how we got shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust you can go ahead and measure it for your clients you shoulder to bust 
shoulder to the person's under bust and shoulder to waist measurement so you can go ahead and measure that for your client so after that i'm going to go ahead with my pattern master and connect all my lines together now basically for a princess that bustier you only have your princess that bustier at your front block so your back block can either be a normal dart or a princess dart okay because you don't want to achieve um princess that bustier for the bust uh, back region so i've done that so i'm going to go ahead and measure our nipple to nipple so nipple to nipple simply means distance from one nipple to the other and for me it's four inches it's eight inches divided by two we have four inches i'm going to go ahead and mark it all the way down so after that i'll connect the lines together so this is always labeled this is our bust our under bust and our waist region so don't forget that in our measurements while we're calculating our measurements we left about while we're calculating our measurements we left about one inch for our dart allowance at the waist region so you mark your dart allowance half inch on both sides this is our dart now our arm oh i hope you guys can see it okay, let me bring the camera closer okay so this is what we have now our dart we've marked our dart now your arm o is usually half inch before your bust measurement okay so this is our bust measurement our arm o is just half inch before you get to your bust measurement so if my shoulder to bust is 10 inches it simply means my arm o is nine and a half inches so this line here is for my arm o so i haven't done that so i'm going to go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurement our shoulder measurement is seven inches so we mark seven inches at this point now when you are done with that so all you have to do now is to mark your bust measurement now our bust measurement is 11 inches we mark our bust measurement 11 inches our waist measurement is 9.5 you go ahead and mark 9.5 then you connect the lines together you connect your lines together so once you are done with that the next thing you are going to do now is to draw your arm o okay so this is our arm o so this is what we have for our arm o now what you are going to do now is to mark your neckline so what's the wideness of your neckline i'm going to make use of three and a half note that it actually depends on what you want now at this your arm or take away one inch for your shoulder slope so we've taken away one inch for our shoulder slope now from this your shoulder slope measure what you have for your arm o. so we have about eight and a half inches because we've taken away one inch already so eight and a half inches eight and a half divided by two we have about four and half inches for let's approximately four and half inches so you mark where you have your midpoint that is the middle of your arm o. so this is where the middle of the middle of our arm o is so once you've done that you go ahead and now for this area now try not to make it to be straight okay so you go ahead and connect it to now this your bust point come up with about one inch why did i ask you to come up with about one inch so that you won't make this bus region be too stuffy so you connect it so when you connect it this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have so once you've done that the next thing you are going to do now is to mark half inch on both sides for your arm o. half inch on both sides so you connect it back so once you've done that half inch on both sides you are going to move out your arm on now with one inch why are we moving out our arm on one inch because 
we've taken away half inch on both sides so we have to move it out for ease around the bust measurement so you move it out with one inch so this becomes your new arm o curve so you can draw your new arm o curve here i hope you guys understand this becomes our new arm o curve now for this bust region make sure here is not pointed so you have to make it in form of a curve region you can go ahead and curve it with your hand if you're not very good at that you can use the lower side of you can use this inner point of your pattern master to give it that round shape okay so we just want to have a round shape at this region so basically this is what a princess that bustia looks like so i'm going to go ahead now what you are going to do now is to add extra sewing allowance to all your measurements okay add extra sewing allowance so i'm going to add extra one inch to all my measurements so i move out my bust inches with one inch move out my waist inches with one inch why do we have this extra um sewing allowance because we are going to join these two blocks together and we don't want it to be tight so we move it out with one inch and you can see by the time you move it out it blends with your new ammo that you've moved out it blends with your new ammo you've moved out so this becomes our new sewing um this becomes our new measurement so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out so you cut away your your shoulder slope Now, this is what you are going to have, okay? So, when you want to cut, you cut out this dart region. You cut out your dart. And then you cut this out this way. Make sure here is round. Curved. So, we cut away what we have at this region. So, so this is what it's going to look like. So, you can see your shape coming out already your princess that so yet is opened for your princess that and you also have your bust your dart measurement so next thing i'm going to do now is to determine my neckline okay so basically it depends on what you actually want so for my neckline i'm going to make use of five inches and round neckline you can make use of any neckline you want of your choice so this is what the princess that bustier looks like it's very very easy so let me show you guys how to transfer it let me cut out the back so for the back you can also draft your pattern but for those of you that are not good with pattern drafting okay so i'm going to make use of free hand for the back so that you guys don't get lost also so this is our half length okay so we go ahead and mark one inch for our zip allowance we mark one inch for our zip allowance so this is our zip allowance all the way so what you are going to do now is to determine your shoulder to bust arm o measurement we said eight and a half so you mark shoulder to shoulder to bust we have 10 inches shoulder to under bust 13 and a half inches and of course shoulder to our waist so I haven't done that the next thing you are going to do now is to mark your shoulder measurement so you can see we started from our zip allowance so our shoulder measurement is seven inches so we mark our shoulder measurement and of course you connect your arm o now for the back region like i said we don't have a bust here at this back so the next thing you are going to do now is to mark your bust measurement so our bust measurement is 11 inches so we go ahead and mark our bust measurement, which is 11 inches. Our waist measurement is 9.5. We go ahead and mark 9.5. So you connect the lines together. Once you are done, you match the midpoint of your arm O. We have 4.5 inches. You indicate where you have your midpoint. So you come here, you mark your dart measurement, which is 4 inches. You mark your dart measurement, which is 4 inches. Now you have a straight line this way up to your under bust and then you connect it round. So this is how to cut a princess that. 
so you just connect it make sure here is curved so by the time you want to cut this out in this case because we don't have bust region so we just um we just cut out we just cut it out that way without putting any allowance at the rest at the bust region So by the time we want to cut this out, you just have like a straight line curved at this point to give you your princess that for the back region, okay? So you determine your neckline. Neckline, I use three and a half inches. So I mark three and a half inches at this point. So I'm not going to cut the neckline out yet because I want to cut out the front and explain something to you guys. So I'll keep this aside. So to cut out the front now, where we have our princess that, you fold your fabric into two this way. So you take out the front piece, you place it. So you go ahead and cut this out. So after cutting it out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So after cutting it out, this is what you have. So I didn't cut out the neckline. Like I said, I want to explain something about the neckline. So the next thing we're also going to do now is to fold the fabric again into two and place this side on it. Why? Because we want to achieve um, two pieces. We want to have two pieces of this um, side. So you fold it into two and then you go ahead and cut this out. So by the time you are done, this is what you are going to have. So let's open this up. So this is what you are going to have. Your princess that's coming this way. Now, because we want to achieve one shoulder. Okay, because we want to achieve one shoulder. That is why I didn't cut out the neckline earlier on. But if you want to maintain like a round neckline or you want to maintain like a four corner um, neckline, you can go ahead and cut out your, you can go ahead and cut out your neckline like while you were cutting. But because you want to achieve like a one shoulder neckline. So that is why. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up this back block, okay? I'm just going to notch it to know where my zip allowance starts from. So, have not that so I can open it up this way. Now, what you are going to do now is to determine which shoulder you want to be off and which shoulder you want to maintain your neckline. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Like, you have to determine. So you are going to determine what, like, okay, let me fold this into two now. This is how our pattern looks like, okay? So the first thing you do is you indicate where your shoulder is. So once you've done that, you can open it up this way. So you determine what arm should be the off shoulder and what arm should have a shoulder. So it depends on the hand you actually want. So you can just, this is where our shoulder measurement is. So you determine the deepness. How deep do you want the neckline to be? So I'm going to make use of 5 inches. So from this 5 inches now, I'm just going to curve it like this. To this shoulder. Do you get? So we are, we are eliminating this shoulder to give us our one shoulder. So you open it up like this. Or another method to achieve that is by the time you place your... You can place your pattern paper this way and cut out the second arm O, or you place it this other way. If you want, this arm should remain the same and cut it out like this. So it depends on the arm you actually want to cut away. So we're just going to cut this out. So we've eliminated this shoulder because we want to have one shoulder princess that. So this is what we have. So for the back block, all you have to do so that you won't just cut out, like you won't want to cut out your front block, the right hand. And for the back, you now eliminate, <laughs> you now eliminate like a different arm entirely. That is not going to be funny, okay? 
so you can just place it this way and cut it out or you can go ahead and open it up like this place your front where you determined the first arm then place your back like you want to have a complete dress this way joining the lining together the next thing you have to now place the lining on the dress so you go ahead and sew your neckline sew the two sides together so when i'm done with that i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys after turning this is what you're going to have for the back and you're going to have your one shoulder princess that coming this way so this is actually for the front door you are going to set this aside so for the back don't forget that we have two pieces and we opened up here for our zip allowance so what you are going to do is that you are going to join this to this princess that set that aside so this is what we have you also go ahead and join this part to this okay now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so click on the subscribe button so you place your lining go ahead and sew this part because this is where we have our zip allowance so we'll sew the neckline sew this down part and this other side so when i'm sure i'll show you guys what it looks like so by the time you turn it this is what you have for one side of the Teflon is standing, so you can go ahead and watch. Okay, so after that, the next thing you are going to do so for you to be able to make your Teflon to stand this way, watch my video on how to make how to make your Teflon stand. Look at how wavy it is. So the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and fix in our zip. So I'll just go ahead and fix in my zip all the way down after that i'll show you guys the next thing we have left is to fix in our sleeve so let me go ahead and sew the zip wow guys can you see the way it's standing like this is the peplum you guys this dress is so beautiful so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out the sleeve now for this part of your sleeve is going to be an off shoulder and for this part of your sleeve is going to be a normal shoulder so this is the sleeve for the one shoulder and this is our normal sleeve. So what I'm going to do now is just fold it together, measure my round sleeve. My round sleeve is 12 divided by 2, I have 6 inches. So I'll go ahead and sew this all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this sleeve to this point and do the same for the second one. I'll show you guys the final look. So I'll just attach my sleeve, my off shoulder sleeve and my normal sleeve and show you guys the final look of the dress.